What's going on everybody? I'm Dory Goodman, the time teller. Happy Monday. So today I'm going to talk about a watch that I've actually mentioned on this channel before, way back when we were under 2000 subscribers. That's right. We little 2000 subscribers and I'm blessed today to say that we have just under 50,000 50 Zero, zero, zero. That is awesome. And as you could imagine, with all these new subscribers comes a ton more questions, and I love them. Please ask your questions in the comment section below, or you can write to me directly over on my Instagram account, at The Simple Consultant. Go ahead and follow me there. But it seems lately I've been getting a lot of requests for me to recommend my favorite dive watch under $500. It's 1237 PM. Let's get down to business. So when it comes to dive watches under the $500 mark, that actually gives us a lot of options to choose from. You know, there's a plethora of Seikos. Uh, maybe you'd prefer some Orient watches, you know, uh, the Mako or the Ray, both very good options there. Uh, let's see, the Casio Duro, that's an under $100 quartz diver option. Uh, I know a few of you out there have those. And uh, oh yeah, the Vostok Amphibia. There, okay, there, I said it. I recommended the Vostok Amphibia. Are you happy? It all comes down to the Vostok Amphibia. Why? But in my opinion, okay, all jokes aside, none of those watches come close to the unique styling, the detailed ruggedness, the kind of perfect balance between durability and refinement. I'm talking about one of my favorite dive watches of all time, the Seiko SRP641 Baby Tuna. That's right, guys. At 47 millimeters, the Baby Tuna may not seem all that babyish at all, but I assure you, it wears much smaller than 47 millimeters. Now, one of the things about the SRP641 one that I think really makes it one of the best dive watches under $500 is the truly unique design. I mean, there's a whole lot to look at without it being too much, and that's not an easy thing to do. I love the satin, almost matte black finishing on the case, and then you're getting little pops of gold that comes from the shroud hardware, the hands, the indexes, and the crown, just very tastefully done. Now, speaking of the indexes, this watch has a very dynamic look because of how the indexes are applied to the dial. It just really pops. Now, I'm gonna get some loom shots as I talk right now but this watch really in any condition is incredibly legible and of course it has that amazing Seiko Luma Bright Loom. Seriously guys this thing just glows incredibly vibrantly and from a functionality standpoint you're getting that awesome day date complication which again is one of my favorite complications to have on a watch because you're going to use it daily so as far as a watch that you can wear every day this definitely checks some boxes. Now, again, this SRP641 is listed at 47 millimeters, but it wears much smaller than that. Now, I know I'm gonna get a ton of questions. I have a seven and a half inch wrist, but even if you're a bit smaller than me, I assure you this watch does not wear like a 47 millimeter diver. And one of my favorite things about this watch is how it lies flat on your wrist. It makes for the most comfortable watch in my collection. I'm not just saying that. This is seriously one of my favorite watches to wear because of how comfortable it is. Now, this is a Seiko diver so you're getting a 200 meter water resistance rating with a threaded crown and the crown is located at the four o'clock position. So just very Seiko in design. And this watch is powered by Seiko's 4R36 automatic movement. So you're getting hacking and hand wind. Now this SRP641 came with a black silicone diving strap and I've said it before, I don't always like the way those silicone straps feel. Uh, they just don't breathe and I'm prone to heat rashes. Okay, I'll say it, it's embarrassing. I get heat rashes once in a while. So I took off the silicone straps and I put on this waterproof sailcloth strap. And man, I love how rugged this looks. It still maintains that kind of nautical feel, but looks super tough. And I don't know, I, I, I love this look. Now guys, I will tell you there is some bad news with this watch. The prices are creeping up steadily. So when I got this watch, I paid around $220 for it new. Now you're looking in the mid 300s. So I would definitely jump on this watch while it's still well under $500. I would highly recommend it to anybody who wants a unique, durable, affordable dive watch. And there you have it guys, the Seiko SRP641 Baby Tuna is my favorite diver for under $500. All right guys, well thank you for tuning in. I hope this answered some questions. A ton of you guys are asking me about my favorite diver under 500. There you go. We have it at the Time Teller shop. So as always, please click the link in the description below. Shop around really does help the channel out a ton when you do that, so thank you. And as I said earlier, we are just under 50,000 subscribers. That is ridiculous. I, can't, I never imagined that I'd be sitting here saying that. 
50,000. Man, we're almost there. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, click that subscribe button. It takes one second and helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of The Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't wanna miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share us with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, The Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.